G'day guys, in today's vlog, David and I are going to pick up our bikes. They're over at Chad's, at Chad's Off-Road, getting some suspension work done on them. So uh, we're gonna go pick them up, take them for a test. Chad's gonna tune the suspension in, so it's gonna be a great day. Looking forward to it, can't wait. Ram is out there getting his gear bag ready. We're off to Chad's. Let's get there. There you go, mate. Ready to go and get the bikes? Yeah, let's go. Well, it was raining a lot last night, and now I'm happy to see the sun out. It's great. It's going to be awesome. I was a bit worried, <laughs> but all good awesome. now. We're going to load up and we're going to head out. You can see the van down there. That's ready. The Chadster van. <laughs> all right. So basically what we've done with the two bikes before we come out here for our test session is basically we've gone through, serviced all the suspension, so fresh oil, just make sure everything's moving the way it should be moving. Um, you know, just a couple of things we revised on Rammer's bike with four kites and a few things with these settings and hopefully we'll make it work better. But the, well now what we're going to do is now we're out here at our test track, so we're going to let Rammer have a couple of laps. He's going to come in, we're going to talk about it and then we're going to dial it in from there. To, get him as happy as possible with the bike. And me. And obviously Brendan Bell. Okay, so what we want to do is, after Brendan's had a ride, is basically what we then want to do is put the triple adjuster into the shock and let him have a go with that. Mate, uh, we just went out for a ride, a little bit of a test on the bikes that Chad's fixed up. Uh, a little bit wet out there, but it's really, it's in beautiful conditions. And what was your thoughts on the bike? Oh, uh, straight away, worlds of difference. Yeah. And the bike was actually going where I pointed. I wasn't pogoing around uh, yeah. real smooth. I was a lot quicker through the corners. Yeah. And I was a happier rider at the end of the day, really. And for me, to tell you the truth, not a lot has changed that much because Chad obviously had my bike previously, so it's a little bit older. It's just the way that it always has been, and it really works so well. It always works really well. The new tyres with the Pirellis on it, that helps a lot in the sandy conditions out here, but I'd say when it comes to suspension, once Chad does something and hits it on the mark, and you know that with your old 200 as well, yeah. He doesn't have to do a lot. You just take it back to him. He does. Well, I think he got fresh oil in it, and that was it. And that was the only changes that we made on my bike. And you rode it, and you know how yeah. good it feels. It's fantastic. I'm never disappointed. Every time I get the bike back from Chad's, it's always exactly how I want it, mm. and I just enjoy getting it back every single time. You know, and I've said so many times before on the show, the bikes these days, the engines, no worries whatsoever. It's a suspension department that you have to go and get checked out for your style of riding, your weight and also where you're riding as well. This is set up for just trail bike riding. It's absolutely fantastic. There's one last thing, Chad, you've got to do to mine, is bling it up. There's a little blingy button they're going to put on there. I don't know what it's going to do, but I just want the blingy shiny button. As long as it's shiny, it's all right. <laughs> it's good. Chad, here's my okay. bling bit. What does it do, buddy? Okay, so what we have here is the MX Tech triple adjuster. Okay, so what we have is we've got obviously our low speed compression, our mid speed compression, and then what this one does is what we call low speed rebound. So basically what it does is it controls the top of the stroke. So basically it gets rid of the loose fade when you're running your rebound nice and light so you're going to get heaps of traction. Basically what you also get is an overlap of that is the actual a loose 
wallowy feel at the top of the stroke. What we're able to do with the low speed rebound control is dial in that looseness at the top of the stroke so we've still got a nice loose rebound control but without the loose vague feeling at the top of the stroke. Um, basically what it does is it tends to be really good through like whoop sections and stuff like that so we're still able to run the rebound relatively light when we're in you know in big rolling whoops where we need the, the main rebound really light so the, the shock is able to get back out get back out get back out as quickly as it can to deal with the big next big whoop the next big hit but with that what we're able to do is dial in so we don't have the, the, the wallowiness that you you get when you're not going as fast as you sometimes need to be to make the really loose rebound work. Um, what we've also found is like under under braking, the shock's a lot less wallowy. It's, it's basically has the, a lot more controlled, readable feeling in the back end of the bike with by dialing in that low speed rebound. The big advantage with this compression adjuster is when you actually do make a one click adjustment on the actual either the low speed or the high speed, it does make a defined difference to it. It's not not something that you have to go two or three clicks to actually notice a, a difference. It's very much like the Olin's system that you, you know, one click does make a significant um, improvement or, you know, difference to the actual shock performance. So uh, I just come back from Chad putting the MX Tech triple adjuster in the back shock and uh, I did notice a difference, honestly, I didn't think I would. I thought, well it looks good, that's the main thing. But uh, we did it mucking around with a little bit, a few adjustments. Let's wait till Rama goes by. So we did a few adjustments and um, that's when you really notice it. Once he did the adjustments there was times where the bike wouldn't stop for the corner and I told him that and he said yes that's because I don't know put a few clickers here or there or whatever it was but when he did clicker it the, to where I liked it the bike um, it's amazing absolutely amazing how well it tracks uh, I don't know whether it's the track I'm getting better on it or what but man this bike just sits so well so well so uh, thumbs up to the MX Tech triple adjuster on the shock that's it guys, don't forget if it's not Chad, anyone out there, go and get your suspension done. It makes a world of difference to your bikes, it really does. And if you like it, thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe. Till next time.